Hello you guys, it's Katie and welcome back to another video. In today's video, I have a big Joanne haul to share with you guys. So, <laughs> I went to Joanne because I had a pickup order and then I also found a lot of yarns in store that I wanted to pick up. So, I went a little crazy and got about $100 in store and then about $80 in a pickup. So, yeah, this might be one of the biggest yarn hauls I've ever done, at least for like a singular store. So we're just going to go ahead and get started because there is a lot to share with you. So first bag looks pretty small, but we're going to work our way up. <laughs> so this first kind of yarn is a new one for me. This is Burnett Pipsqueak yarn. So I got two in gray and two in white. So the breakdown for this is it is... 3.5 ounces, 100 grams, 101 yards, 92 meters. It is a bulky number five. Suggest 5.5 millimeter knitting needles and crochet hooks. The gray color is called elephant gray and the white color is called whitey white. So I have two of each of these. And like I said, this is a new yarn for me. I have never tried it before, never purchased it before. But it's super soft and I've seen quite a few people make different fluffy plushies with it. So I want to try my hand at doing that. And these are the colors that I picked up for it. So these were not on sale. I think it's the only thing I got that wasn't on sale. And each one was $5.49. So that was these four that I got in store. And then this is the second bag that I got in store, which is obviously a lot bigger. So first we have a Burnett Baby Blanket, which the breakdown for this is it is 10.5 ounces, 300 grams, 220 yards, 201 meters. It is 100% polyester, super bulky number six, suggests eight millimeter knitting needles and crochet hooks. This is the color Baby Pink. Now, this was a color that I didn't think I was running low on when I placed the pickup order. And then I placed the pickup order without purchasing it. And then realized in store, oh, I think I'm running low on this one. So I bought it and then I actually wasn't running low on it. So I was flip-flopping back and forth and turns out I was right in the beginning. But anyways, I ended up purchasing it anyway and I'll use it at some point so it's not that big a deal. And it was on sale, so the regular price is $11.99. I saved $4 on it, so it was $7.99. So not as good as the price that I paid in the pickup order, which I'll explain, but still on sale, so I'm not mad about it. But anyways, that is this one. We also have a Burnett Blanket Brights, which the Baby Blanket, Regular Blanket, and Burnett Blanket Brights are all the same breakdown, so I'm not going to bother telling you the same thing again. But this color is Water Slide Variegated, which I'm saying variegated, but it's actually abbreviated to V-A-R-G, so I'm assuming that's what that means. <laughs> but anyways, this is Water Slide, which I thought would be super pretty. For some like whales or octos, different like sea creatures in this blue color. So that's why I picked it up. So again, this would have been the regular $11.99, but it was $7.99 with the sale they had going on. Which I think was 30% off of Burnett Blanket. I think that was a sale. But don't quote me on that because I bought this like a week or so ago as I'm sitting down to film the video. <laughs> and you guys are seeing the video like two weeks after I'm filming it, but... You know, it's fine. And you guys are seeing the video like three or four weeks after I'm filming it, but you know, we won't talk about that. <laughs> Next, we have quite a few different Burnett Velvet yarns because I didn't realize that these were in stock in my store. If you guys have been watching some of my Joanne hauls and like come shopping with me, you probably know that they remodeled my Joanne recently and they have so much more yarn in stock than they ever have since they remodeled. So I ended up picking up some of these that I probably didn't need, but I wanted them anyways. So the Burnett Velvet by Yarnspirations, the breakdown is it is 10.5 ounces, 300 grams, 315 yards, 288 meters. It is a number five bulky, suggests six and a half millimeter crochet hooks and knitting needles. And we have the color Mushroom as well as the color Mocha. 
So these are two colors that I don't already have and have not been able to find. So I went ahead and picked these up. These were the same sale of $11.99 regular price and $7.99 right now, or at least when I got them. So that is these two. Next, you guys are gonna think this is a little obsessive. This is the same yarn, except I got three of them all in red. So I got two of them for myself because this is like a pretty rare color to find, at least for me. So I got two of them while they were in stock. And then I got a third one because if you guys know Natalie Crochets, which I'm sure you do because we've done multiple collabs and stuff, and she's my best friend, so I'm sure you guys know her. If you don't, then obviously go check her out. But anyways, we've had the conversation before that neither of us have been able to find red in Burnett Velvet. So I grabbed an extra one to send to her in our next yarn swap slash next time we send packages to each other. So that is what this is for. I did not hoard three of them, I promise. I only hoarded two. And this one's going to Natalie. <laughs> but anyways, that is these three. And then the final one that I got that is from the in-store shopping and not the pickup order is the Big Twist Plush yarn. So as I'm filming this video, this is a newer yarn. It may not be new by the time I'm posting it. I don't really know my schedule as far as yarn hauls because I filmed them so far in advance. But anyways, the breakdown for this one is it is 100 53 yards, 10.5 ounces, 140 meters, 300 grams. It suggests eight millimeter knitting needles and crochet hooks and is a super bulky number six. It's 100% polyester. And the color for this one is strawberry sherbet. So this is a variegated one with pink and white and like a darker pink. So it is super pretty. Again, I thought for some like octos or whales, some of the animals that I like to make in multicolored yarns. And yeah, I'm excited to try out this yarn. It is super soft. It feels pretty similar to Burnett Blanket and everything. And the breakdown is like pretty similar. I would say it might be like a tiny bit thicker than Burnett Blanket, but not very much difference. So yeah, I'm excited to use this since it is a newer yarn. And this one they specifically had on the sale that it was $7.99 instead of its regular $11.99 because I remember seeing the sign. So anyways, that is this one, which I will hopefully be trying out soon. All right, so that was everything for what I bought in store. So now I'm gonna share with you guys the pickup order, which keep in mind, when I do pickup orders, I go kind of crazy. It's basically a restock for me because they almost always have either 20 or 25% off your total pickup order. And that coupon works with a lot of these sales. So I was able to get the same sale that I shopped in store, which was the 30% off of Burnett Blanket, plus a 20% off on top of that. So each skein was somewhere around $6. Okay, so all of these are Burnett Blanket, Baby Blanket, all of that, so it's going to be the same breakdown. So first I have two in white, which I only have two here to show you, but I actually purchased three in this pickup order because I was almost out completely. And that's why I only have two here to show you because I used up that last little bit and started using the third skein. So I have two here to show you, but I did buy three total. And this is just in no particular order, you guys. I'm just grabbing stuff out of the bag at this point. But this next one is regular Burnett Blanket in the color Almond, which is another color I use quite often. So I went ahead and got another one. We have Burnett Blanket Brights in the color Pow Purple. I have been running low on this one for a while. So I was finally able to get it. They were out of stock like one or two times in a row that I tried to get it in pickup orders. So I finally got it this time. We have a few different variegated colors because like I was mentioning to you earlier, I've really been obsessed with making a lot of octos and things like that in variegated colors. So this one is the baby blue green, which I have used in the past and almost used up a full skein. So that's why I got another one. And this one is lovely blue, which is a color I have never had before, but I thought looked super pretty. So I got this one as well. Another variegated baby blanket color, which is also pretty similar, 
but this one is posy purple so these two are pretty similar just the one has purple in it and the other one does not but still i thought they were both super pretty we have a burnett baby blanket in the color baby lilac which i'm not sure why this one is in plastic and all the rest of them are just like regular skeins i couldn't tell you but anyways this is another one that i picked up because i was again running low on it i placed this order like right before my markets so i was doing a ton of market prep and running low on a lot of yarns this is another variegated color that I have used before and almost used a full skein up completely. And that is regular Burnett Blanket this time in the color Stormy Ocean. So this is another one that's like blues and greens and stuff. And honestly kind of similar. I guess I'm just gravitating to a lot of blue and green variegated colors recently. But I do feel like they're perfect for sea creatures. So that is this one. The final two yarns are new to me, but they are exactly the same breakdown. So these are the Burnett Baby Blanket Dabbled skeins, which is again the same exact breakdown. The only difference is these yarns are in cake form versus in the regular skein like this. So I'm excited to use these and see how well they work up in this different format. But the breakdown is exactly the same as far as the yardage and ounces and, you know, what hook it suggests and all of that. So, this pink one is called Peachy Keen. And this purple one, you guys, I don't know how to say this. I really don't. So, what I'm going to do is just type out the words on the screen because I even tried Googling this to see if it was, like, from some sort of book or nursery rhyme or something like that because sometimes they do name some of the colors off of that for yarn and I'm just unfamiliar and when I google it I'm like oh okay that makes sense. Whenever I google this it pretty much only comes up with the yarn and it actually tries to autocorrect it so it tries to autocorrect the second word to fairy and the only thing it really comes up with is actually this yarn. So I'm not sure what it's referring to. Maybe it means something in a different language or something. If you guys have any sort of clue, let me know in the comments. Maybe I'm just being really dumb and it does actually mean something to do with like the purple color it is. But yeah, I tried Googling it and I have no idea. So anyways though, that is these two and these are also the final two that I picked up, which I believe these are the same price as $11.99 and then I would have gotten them for the same price of like six something because they were 30% off plus the 20% off pickup order coupon. So that is everything for this haul and I did try to go through my Joanne app and figure out the exact sale thing but I couldn't figure it out because it didn't actually include the coupon with it. It just included the 30% off that I got with the regular deal so I apologize for that but it is around like six something per skein was what it boiled down to. So anyways though thank you so much for watching today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed seeing the yarns and me sharing the deals that I got on all of them and all of that stuff. I'm going to be restocking these shelves with a lot of the yarns I just purchased so hopefully they won't look as empty in some spots in the upcoming videos for you guys which I say upcoming but it's actually probably previous videos because of how often I film yarn hauls and how far in advance I film them. <laughs> but anyways, thank you guys so much for watching today's video. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please do give it a big thumbs up. Let me know in the comments down below what you thought. If you've tried out any of these yarns or yarns you've bought recently. All of that I always love to chat with you guys about in the comment section down below. So let me know. If you guys do want to see more videos from me, make sure you hit the subscribe button down below. And turn on the post notification bell that we know every single time I upload a brand new video. Liking and subscribing and commenting on my videos really does help out my channel. So thank you in advance if you do any of those things. Now, if you guys do want to see more from me, you can always check out more videos of mine. My blog, my Etsy shop, my Ribbler shop, all of my social medias, and my second channel. 
all of that is always included in the description box of every single video for you guys. Plus, if you want to check out any of these yarns, I will of course link them in the description box below for you guys. So with all of that, thank you guys so much for watching today's video, and I will see you guys here in the next one. Goodbye!